Greetings on this beautiful fall day. My name is Terry Witt, and I'm a member of the Realign Resources for Mission Committee. This week, we will be exploring the, another pillar for a healthy parish within the Diocese of Lansing, which focuses on our parish staff. Specifically, that a healthy parish equips and empowers staff by providing ongoing formation, mentoring, and coaching. I'm a member of the leadership team at St. Robert Bellarmine and on various committees within the Catholic community of Flint. There I work with many ministry leaders and parish staff as they faithfully serve the people of God. Often in challenging situations where they feel they have no time or resources to do everything that's on their heart. On this beautiful fall day, what instantly comes to my mind is the passage from Luke 10, which says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. We all get that overwhelming feeling where we feel that we have so much to do with not enough time and resources to accomplish it. That is why it's important for our parish, parish groupings to join together to build strong teams, teams that can set priorities and support each other while staying focused and accountable to the mission. Healthy parishes within their groups will mentor and coach staff to make decisions and prioritize activities to focus on the mission of making disciples. Continued formation, leadership, coaching, and building on these skills and experiences is vital for everyone, especially our parish staff. This equipping is fundamental to all staff to allow discipleship to flourish in our parishes. In order to build strong teams, we have to recognize the importance of making ongoing formation a priority, but more importantly, to provide mentoring and coaching for all of our staff. This will provide the basis for which leaders can build and disciple new leaders. We, we must all make the investment of our time and resources to make ready more laborers to bring to the harvest. In the accompany article, Bill Preshvich shares his wisdom experience by providing strategies and ongoing for ongoing mentoring and coaching by leaders in a model that Jesus did for his disciples. Please pray for our parish staff and all of us in the diocese as laborers that we will be transformed by participating in his work of salvation. God bless.